Hey y'all, it's Ashley Ferguson of Artistic Painting Studio and today I'm going to teach you how to use hot pink metallic foils to make the viral metallic foil jeans. So come join me. So today we're going to be using the Deco Foil Duo Adhesive, which is made for fabric. It is duo because you can use it with heat or no heat, which today we'll be using it with heat. But I'm going to randomly apply it over my jeans because I want more of like a distressed, not full coverage look. So I'm going to put some on this plate because Jennifer told me to do so. So I'm going to use this little brush that Jen gave me. Don't ask me what kind it is because I won't be able to tell you. I've never used it before. So if I can do this, on the ram boards so I don't make the floor sticky and I really don't have a lot of what's the right word for it um, vision for what these are gonna look like so fingers crossed hmm. I think I want some up here around the pockets I'm just gonna try to pull this tighter so I can get a better the pockets a little bumpy and I'm just gonna randomly apply this. I should have had more of a vision coming into this. Jennifer's here watching me, just so y'all know. She's super nice. I'm gonna picture them on. So can I talk? Yeah, you can talk. Okay. So yeah, I'm letting Ashley be the star today, but I'm here for supervision. <laughs> so as Ashley's applying the duo, any place that she gets it thick, like she has it right there, you are going to see a stronger release or transfer. So the foil will definitely transfer more in any of the places where it looks really white, okay? So Duo goes on milky white looking, and then as it starts to dry, it's going to clear out, but it'll still have a little bit of a sheen difference. So Ashley will be able to know where she has it. But if you're looking for some really good coverage in areas, you can put it on a little thicker and then the foils will transfer stronger in those those areas, okay? And I think I'm just gonna do one leg. I think I just want one leg and then I'm gonna do some on the back too, on the booty cheeks, you know? Try to accent the goods. And so this is one thing that's super cool is, you know, you get to be the artist with your project and determine how much foil transfer you want We've done a pair where we, I did almost full front and back. Working on another pair, we're just doing a little bit of random application, front and back on both sides. So just kind of play with it and figure out what what floats your boat. <laughs> I'm the one that wanted to do this on the ground too, and I'm regretting my decision. This is not the most comfortable. There's a reason why I'm not on the ground with her. I'm still in a walking boot, guys. Getting down there is almost impossible for me. But I think the hot pink's gonna look real good on these. Yeah, it's gonna look awesome. I've been in a very, I'm not a, as you can see by my outfit today, I like the color black. But now that it's summer, I feel like I've been in a more colorful mood. Okay, so more technical information here. I would let this sit for maybe anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. We are discovering that even if the duo is not completely dry, you are still gonna get a transfer. But if it's too wet, I'm feeling like some of those areas kind of like just absolutely like release, like just pull up. So you can definitely attack it when you start getting to it like a clear film of the duo that it's not so white. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick to the one leg on this pair. I feel like I will like them more with just kind of that pop of color. Sit on her booty cheeks. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm just not sure. I'm trying to picture. So obviously we did a right leg. Okay. I think I want a little more. Since it is, I'm just doing my one leg. I think I do want it to be, you know, more more foil than less. But yeah, Jennifer is normally the star of the show, and I just edit the video. But today, I am the star of the show, and she is not as I'm hobbling back in on my boot. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I want more coverage than less, you know, because I'm just doing the one leg. 
Oh, I think it's gonna be fun. But I think I want it to still look pretty distressed. Yeah, you get to be the artist. I'm like, hmm, what is this going to look like? And I guess I could add more later if it's not enough. That's what I was just gonna say, is you can always start with less. And if you decide once you transfer the foil, like, oh wow, this is so stinking cool, I need more, you can always come back and add more. Can't take it off, but you can add more. <laughs> I'm just I'm not gonna lie, I'm like worried there's gonna be too much room. I'm, like, I'm trying to like not be around my crotch, you know? I feel like that's big in my brain right now. Yeah, for the girl that said she was just gonna put a little on. <laughs> I think she has almost the whole leg covered. No, there's lots of empty spaces. I think we're going to start with that. And then if it's not enough, we can always add more. Okay, now we're going to do the fun part, which is the foils. I decided I wanted to do hot pink. So I'm going to cut some sheets. Like I saw Jennifer do. And, and yes, Jennifer is still She's in still supervising. <laughs> Actually, I'm being the videographer, okay? She's doing my normal job. So I'm going to just give you guys a little bit more info as Ashley's cutting some pieces to work with. If you do just real basic random application, you can reuse one piece of foil over and over until you basically have like removed all of the metalization from the back. But if you're wanting to like cover the whole leg and iron it all at once and then remove, then you're gonna want a couple of sheets of foil. So Ashley looks like she's ready to go. We're ready. All right, so the iron's on medium heat, but play around with your iron because your iron might be hotter than ours. You can also use parchment paper in between the foil and the hot iron so that you won't scorch any. And you wanna keep the iron moving as you go. Hopefully I'm doing this right. You are, you are. And you can put pressure. Putting that pressure, y'all. She's gonna put the pressure. Oh, those are gonna be so cool. I'm excited. Or not say no foil, this is there. Yeah, I stayed away from the crotch area. <laughs> to the areas that there is metalization, or not metalization, <laughs> that there is foil adhesive under. If she put nothing under there, like the area closer to the zipper, she just didn't put much there because she didn't want really uh, anything in that area. So nothing sticking as she discovered, but it's pretty kind of easy to know where it is and where it's not. These are gonna be fun. Oh my gosh. For summer. And y'all, if you're looking for some good jeans, I really found that I love Zara jeans. They're pretty affordable, like 50, but $49.90 for the, all the ones I've been buying. And they fit so good. They're super long, because if you're tall, like our family is, they're extra tall. They're all super long on me, like drag the floor and I'm 5'9". So if you're looking for some good jeans, affordable and long, I want to cut another piece, because I underestimated how long these pants were. Depending on your application with, you know, random, little hit and miss, or whole leg, I'm gonna say you're gonna want a minimum of probably three feet. I know that the pair of jeans that I did front and back, I'm gonna recommend a 15 foot roll because I went through a lot of foil for that. But that's still on a solid color, you got a $20 investment, it's heck of a deal. And like some of these metallic foil jeans that I saw online can go anywhere from like hundreds to like thousands of dollars. So you get a $50 pair of jeans from Zara and then $20 worth of foil, you're only in it for 70 bucks. Not a bad deal. Okay, my last piece, I should have worn knee pads, y'all. I can go find them. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm gonna wanna put more. We'll see though. That's the great thing though is I always say if you're not really sure of what you want and you're kind of like just undecided, then do a little bit because you can always come back and add more. I mean, that's okay. the great thing. So now she said I gotta let the heat escape. So, escape heat. <laughs> 
Foils are a cool release. It's not yeah, it's advisable to take it off when it's hot because we had a customer do it the other day and she didn't know why it didn't work. And she didn't get any release. No, she got very, very little release because she, as soon as she was done ironing, she ripped the foil off. So you do have to wait for the foil to completely cool off. I just find as Ashley's showing you right now to lift it up, it just kind of like releases the heat out of the, the jean and cools the foil off a little quicker. Um, and then it just start from the top on your way down and maybe it'll be cool. This is the fun, 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 the fun, fun part. part <laughs> Now, get a little, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I put way more foil adhesive on here. Why okay, I... so I don't know if I can get down there with you, but I'm going to give you another little trick to show everybody. So the duo is with and without heat, so she can try using the scrub brush and scrub a little bit more. And what you will discover with denim, especially on the top half where you have your pockets front and back, you have a lot of different thicknesses and your stitching is kind of keeps you away from it as well. If she's not happy with that section, she can put that foil back down and even iron again and normally more will release. We'll try that once we get through all this. Oh, but now it's going to be so fun. I'm glad I went with pink, y'all. Yeah. Oh, I was deciding between pink and kiwi. I didn't know they had a big kiwi nude as well. But Amber said that she thought I would wear pink more, so. Amber's probably right. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to come in. This might in. be the perfect amount, actually. I know. I feel like I want a little more up there, but I'm really liking this bottom. The last little section here. Ooh, uh, they turn out so, so fun. I fun. think I just want some more at the top because I think I'm very happy with how it looks down here. I just want a little more up here, I think. So I would try ironing again. Yeah, you might find that if you have like a little mini heat press, sometimes a little heat press is going to be good for these areas that you're around all the pockets and the stitching and it just becomes like three and four layers thick. And I do find that that's a little bit harder to get it to transfer. And then if you're going to scrub, you scrub really, really hard. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add more adhesive up here. So yeah, I feel like there is. So go ahead and lay that piece on there. And then when you're scrubbing, be real aggressive. And then check and see, because sometimes you just get, see how you get more? So it's actually showing you, if by chance the iron's just not releasing as much as you want, then get in there, but you're gonna have to really be aggressive with your scrubbing and you will definitely transfer more. It transfers it a little bit softer and lighter. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. I like the way that looks. So that's the difference between scrubbing it on and the iron transferring it on. So the areas that you have the adhesive thicker will transfer the really bright and shiny spots. If you want to come back and have just a little like background color, then the scrubbing works really good. So I really like the way it looks when it's transferred with the iron where I added the, the adhesive a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go back up the top section and add some more, let that dry and then transfer it. But that is how easy it is to make your own foiled jeans as someone who's not very creative or artsy. I could do it and so can you. So. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you would hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of Jen's awesome tutorials and any of the tutorials that you may catch me on here doing again. And all of the products will be linked in the description below. Thank you again for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.